hi guys welcome to my youtube channel today we will learn about parts text replace text in power automate desktop and also we will learn about turn text to number and convert number to text actions in power automate so let's get started so to work with the parts text what we will do is first we will drag and drop the set variable action which will hold some value so let me drag and drop this and let's change the variable name as description and let's say hi john today i will be on leave and click on save then go back to parts text and here you have a couple of options like text to parts so you would have to choose the variable uh, the one you want to parse and what do you want to find from here right so that you'll have to tell so let's say you want to find John and is this a regular expression this it is talking about the text to find so it is not a regular regular expression so the next one will be a starting a start parsing at position so you can specify from which uh, position you want to parse this text so can it's not necessary that you have to start with zero you can start with 10 also just in case uh, you are sure that in the from the first position to 10th position you will not find your text in that case you can modify but we will keep here at zero at the moment right and then it says that find occurrence only so you will have to specify first occurrence only so if you say that first occurrence only the return value will be stored in uh, so only one position will be stored right and it if it is able to find more than one then it will be storing the position of uh, of those of this text to find john in list list type right so we will begin with the first occurrence only at the moment and and while parsing the text you can also specify that way that you want to uh, parts this text based on the case of the text so you can ignore the text whether it is upper case or lower case irrespective of the case of the text you can uh, search for it and then you will have uh, so another variable will, will be produced which is position so it will store the position uh, where this text will be found right you can click on save and then you can run this bot and you will see that position uh, variable will hold the value so it says that it is at the third position so let's say if I put another word here John today I will be on the leave and then open the parts text and say that disable it right now you see that how the result will be written as you can see here now it is in the uh, in the form of list right so this john keyword is found at the zero index and then at the uh, sorry uh, uh, it is found at third index and then 12th position it was found right so this is how you can do that so here you can see that uh, so you can also use the regular expression so let's say you want to find something which is next to high right so you can say that okay 
question mark less than equals to and then i backslash space or yeah and then here you can come and say backslash w and then plus and when you run this bot you will see that John is spawned in the matches right how I was able to write this uh, uh, regular expression for that what you will have to do is you will have to open this dotnet rejects tester and here you have a very good uh, reference right you can right click and open this and you can go through it so it will help you how you can build your regular expression and use it in uh, in the parts text right so this will be very useful I'll put that link in the description so you can click on there and then you can build your regular expression as you need it okay so the next is replace text so let's say you want to replace the text so let's say you want to replace the text John with mark so here you can choose the variable as description again what word you want to find you can say John so use regular expression to find and replace no I'm not going to do that at the moment ignore the case you can also do that and replace it with mark and active activate escape sequences so if you want to escape some uh, characters you can you know enable it and then it will be escape so at the moment I'll just keep it that when click on save and run the bot and here now you can say in the replace text the word John is replaced with the mark right so this is how you can use it so again here you can use the regular expression you just copy paste the same regular expression that we use to find a text click on save and then run the bot here you can see that it has found the uh, John which is uh, it, it has replaced the word John with the mark only which is next to high right it did not replace the John because this is how we tried to replace it yeah so this is about uh, parts text and replace text both are both can be very useful while working with the strings so it helps you to uh, find out the text what you want and that you can find it also based on the regular expressions which is uh, which is useful when you are trying to search some character some search for some string which is pattern based so the next action is convert text to number so what for that what I have done is I have created an, another variable which is named as num and I have assigned a value 0 right so when I run this bot you will see that the data type of this variable num will be of integer here you can see that it is containing the numeric value correct now if I want to convert this number to text I can just come here and take the variable as num and just click on save and then run the bot the output will be stored in the formatted number right 
so if you do not want this decimal you can just keep it zero and run the bot you will see that it is off the type of the value is text correct in the same way if you want to convert this text to number again you can come back and choose the formatted number and the value will be stored in the text as number and here you can see that the type is again numeric value so this can be very useful when you are you know creating a bot and your some action which is returning the value as text but it is you know by the look and feel it looks like it is containing the number at that time you can use the convert text to number you will have the you will have the number and then you can make the comparison as you want so if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section